Hey, everybody, what's up? It's Tipping the Scales. I'm your girl, Shay Dawson. I'm Tania Rivers. Welcome back, Tippers. Welcome back. What's up? Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. And happy Father's Day and to happy all the daddies father's and papas day. out there. So hopefully you guys have a good Father's Day or had a good Father's Day by the time you listen to this. Yes. Um, yeah. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. So much stuff to unpack in this little short period of time that we have together. But listen, I am so excited because Juneteenth is finally being recognized as a big deal and I'm excited about it. So shout out to my CEO, Matt Darren. Thanks, Matt. Um, hey, Matt. He officially allowed us to celebrate it as a national holiday. So I'm not working tomorrow, even though I probably got some work to do, but I am not officially have to work tomorrow. More importantly, it's a day, um, a holiday for all our Cure Relief employees. So shout out to Matt. Thank you for recognizing such an important day. And I'm excited that we get to spend this day together, Shay. I uh, know. That's so dope. Um, yeah. I literally was like, dang, there's a lot to do today, a lot of yeah. things to celebrate. It's actually my friend Jaren's birthday today. So shout out to Jaren. Jaren, um, happy birthday to you. Happy, bir- ya. Hey. happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Jaren. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So happy birthday to her. Um, and then, yeah, Father's Day, Juneteenth. Yeah. Which I'm like, dang, like I can't remember the f- first time I ever had Juneteenth off. I think this might be the first time. I don't know. Wow. Me too. I was thinking though. about that. Yeah, Me I was too. thinking about that. That's I was like, deal. I don't think I've ever had Juneteenth off. Yeah. So, so. the fact that we're recognizing recognizing it as a holiday is tremendous. And for those of you who don't know about Juneteenth, shame on you, but it, <laughs> it commemorates exactly. the effective end of slavery in our country. And really celebrates the emancipation of enslaved African enslaved Americans, African-Americans, Black people yeah. in our country. So it's a way to just celebrate our freedom, education, and achievement. So happy Juneteenth, folks. Yeah. And, you know, um, for those of you who don't know what Juneteenth is, you know, why not just, you know, type in Google and uh, learn something. We love and, Google. And- <laughs> Thank you, Google. For <laughs> I know. I literally answering. was on Google earlier um, and they just had the like little celebrations, a little bitmojis and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it's always so festive during holidays. So that was cool to see. So cool. Yeah. Um, I have friends that Google everything. They're like, oh, T, you have a fever? Hold on. Google, T has a fever. What does she do? <laughs> like, stop it. I know what to do. I definitely don't Google when I have <laughs> issues. Well, I mean, I, let me not say that. I do, but don't I also don't. Don't use WebMD take with a grain as of your salt. official physician. Please do see your own physician. <laughs> you have health insurance. Please exactly. use it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and so listen, I figured. So I got my parents into a little, little. It wasn't really a fight. It was a little mm, tobacco. Um, you know, a little debate. A little debate. A little soft debate. So yeah, debate. Um, I was like, oh, so we had to go. To, they knew I had to uh, go to dinner early, which is great because we beat all the nonsense. You know, the, when the gets, craziness. Well, mm-hmm. when the restaurants mm-hmm. are like insane, so it's like the little local seafood spot that they like that we went to. That's good. Where? Um, it's, they live Dennis? in Delaware County. So it's like oh. one of those little cities next to Springfield. So it's like a little local, little spot that they like, that they love. Real good seafood. I had yeah. a seafood trio. So it came with a lobster mm. tail, some scallops and, a, and stuffed mm. shrimp. And then my mom had, what did she have? Mm. You know, my stepdad had um, crab cakes. And my mom, dang it, she's going to be like, how do you remember his? Because he was sitting right across from me. It's his day, not yours. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I don't. How do you remember his, but not mine? I can't even remember. <laughs> it wasn't. Me- oh, oh, oh. That's why. It wasn't even that memorable. It was um, stuffed flounder. Like, womp, womp, flounder. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> exactly. That's why my mind wouldn't even allow me to have. So anyway, we're sitting at the table. And I'm like, okay, like, let's pick this up. You know, I got to be home at a certain time. I need to, I have to, you do my podcast. It's like, oh, what are you and Shay talking about today? And I was like, Father's Day and Juneteenth, a little bit of that. And um, my stepdad, shout out to, T- I call him Tuck because they Robert Tucker, but I call him Tuck. So shout out to Tuck. It's your special hey, day. And thank you for just being a great father. Like, I, you know, like, like you talk about, I got a great bonus dad. He's awesome. He embraced me. And my brothers as his own children. So I couldn't ask for a better stepfather. He's amazing. But I love that. 
we're sitting at the table and he's like, well, you know, I just feel like Juneteenth is taken away from Father's Day and it's, you know, this is supposed to be about dads. And my mom turns around, she says, do you know how many single moms are out here? Like, I'm sorry, uh, Father's Day is just not even as special as Mother's Day. Mothers are more important. He like Ooh. almost gave him a cardiac. I was like, mom, don't do that to him. Yeah, don't so do he, that. Don't do that, mom. That wasn't nice. But he was like, oh, no, you know, fathers, it's because everyone, a mother has their role, a father has their role. Everyone has their role that they play. Mm-hmm. He's like, mm-hmm. you know, but both are equally important. My mom was like, hell bent on. <laughs> no, the hell they're not. Oh Moms God. are more important, buddy. Sorry, not sorry. And they were going back and forth. And then Tuck was like, okay, don't ruin my father's day. <laughs> And then my mom was like, well, we're going to debate about this later, tomorrow. Oh she said, so goodness. I'm going to give you today off. She's a fiery little thing. She's like five feet, but she's so fiery. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to give you today off. But, you know, you need to know that we're going to handle this tomorrow. But I just disagree. And she started giving all her points. And I was just quiet, like, eating Whoa, my scallops. Wow. Like, what did I, I mean, do you think moms are more important? So here's the thing. Like, I was contemplating, you know... Oftentimes, I'm thinking about, okay, we already know, you know, Shay and I talk about the topic that we're going to um, speak to you guys about. And I'm sitting here like, I need, you know, one of the things that I I really promised myself that I would do through this experience is be very authentic and very yeah. honest. And listen, let me give a little warning to those who know T as the chief people officer T. This saying that, this is not that. So I am... Uncut tea this way. So if you prefer me to be like super duper senior executive tea, then don't listen to this podcast. Like let me let me pause for <laughs> I ten love the seconds disclaimer. so you can turn it off. So I 10, feel the same way. Nine, like this eight. is shame. Wait a minute, give them ten this seconds is... so they can click off <laughs> if you do not like any of the content because it's a pod and we can talk about whatever we want. Click. <laughs> 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 Okay, now back to resuming <laughs> our normal activity. <laughs> because, but the thing is, like, I started off being that way. And, you know, I love Shay. She's my little sister. She always checks me. She's like, T, please don't come here being corporate, Tania. We don't need her. <laughs> and we don't want her. She's not welcome in this house. We Then she needs to start her own podcast. Okay, like, this is not about corporate HR, yeah. head people, team, this whatever. This is not about that. Y'all no. say these days, now that things have evolved from HR. <laughs> exactly. Granted, now it's like people I, I, team and people are like, what? <laughs> Granted, I'm never going to lose my passion for people, my passion for creating amazing cultures. Like that's ingrained in me. That's what I do. But for the sake of my podcast and, you know, with Shay and T, we believe in being our authentic selves. And in order for us to kind of go through this journey together, because this is a journey. Right. I think we're like in 40, 44, 45 episodes at this point. <laughs> Could you believe? Right? Can't but, wait to get to 100. I mean, exciting. Right. That's like, but yes, here we come. Um, we but come. I mean, but at the end of the day, like, this is just us. This is just us being real. This is us being ourselves. This is us uncensored. Where yes, we can use profanity. Yes, we can talk about sex. Yes, we can talk about whatever we want because it's a lifestyle pod, and we are in this to uplift others together. <gasps> okay, Absolutely. can I get a amen? Amen. Okay. Oh wait, can, I can't do the whole the thing that Cardi B go. Oh, crap. How do you do it? <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. I Don't even do ask it. me. To but do my it. niece, she'll be here like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do say period a lot though. <laughs> period. But, okay. After that long ass story, I just gave you like <laughs> ten minutes of too much tea, too much, Tania. But I say that to preface. So here's okay. The thing this is not tea with tea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're back on track. But here's mm-hmm. how I feel though, because you asked me about like, do I feel our mommy's more important? Like I, I do think that fathers play such an important role in a household that it's a necessity to have them. Like it's like, it's, it's a blessing to be in the two parent household. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. For my personal experience, you know, I, I have to get a little bit personal because, you know, I was raised by my mom was married. She's in her second marriage. My uh, stepfather who raised me since a baby he was he treated me no differently than he treated my brothers. So right. he so he's the only father that I know. Right, right. I unfortunately, awesome. and I don't really, I think I might have told this to a few people. I don't even talk about it 
because it's we never uh, it's about painful. It. I don't you don't even know this Shay, but I've never mm-hmm. met my biological father. I don't know who he is and mm-hmm. anything about him besides his name is Vance Holly. That's all I know about him. And his name's on my birth certificate. And Father's Day is always a heavy day because for me it reminds me of someone who just didn't want me, someone who just turned their back on me and never even bothered to look for me or had, or even if he did, just didn't bother enough to make sure that he had a relationship with me. So Father's Day is a day that I think is super important. And I know some amazing fathers, so shout out to them. Shout out to Craig Ames, who yeah, I call him my brother, but we're super close. I'm, I'm really good friends with his wife, Stacy. So shout out to the Ames. Mm-hmm. But Craig is just an amazing father. And I've seen some amazing fathers in my lifetime. So I would never want to discredit them. But because of my own personal experience with the lack thereof of the father that birthed me, because, you know, like I said, my stepdad, who's no longer here, um, may God rest his soul in peace, name's Isaac. And he, you would have never known, like, I was his daughter and no one, we never even discussed me not being his daughter. Right. So, so you had two, you have two stepfathers, one that yeah. passed. And yeah. One and then my mom's remarried. Now. So mm-hmm. yeah. Isaac so, and Tuck, to be clear. Correct. Yes. And so for me, of course, Mother's Day is going to stand out more for me. My mom, you know, just being yeah. that inspiration in my life and her working yes. really hard and taking care of me and my brothers. And, you know, she, I couldn't ask for a more just a perfect mom. Like she's the person I call when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm crying. And, you know, today mm-hmm. was like, she could tell I wasn't my best self today because we were sitting down at the table and she just looked at me. You know, you just know that mom look, that she looked right in my eyes. She's like, you'll be all right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just, I had a tough day just because I didn't sleep and got other like personal stuff going on. Right. And it wasn't the best day for me, but I just don't look, Father's Day is just something that it's hard. I think it's the best way I can sum it up. Yeah, we text about that a little bit too. And so, you know, when you were we were trying to figure out the topic or whatever, which yeah. everyone knows T comes up with most of the topics that we talk about. <laughs> um, you do some sometimes. Sometimes, but I'm really not. I think that's not my strong suit. So I'm actually okay with relinquishing that. Um, I think you do a really great job of uh, finding the color in the world. And so that's what we talk about. But yeah, that's why it's a, a team. That's right. Um, so when I think about Father's Day too, I think about, for me, it and it and I'm actually texting my dad. I was just texting my dad now. No, me and my dad. I, I think I shared this. We got, I won't say close, but we have started over. Yeah. Um, but still, the sting of Father's Day is still something that I don't. I it's the it reminds me of the love I never got. Oh, if wow. that makes sense from yeah, my dad for sure. Um, and my whole life I thought he didn't love me. Mm. You know, even though he said it, you know, I would see my dad sporadically when I would fly to Missouri and spend the summer with my grandmother. And then sometimes I would see my dad. And I didn't realize until I got older that my dad didn't have the capacity to love me Mm. the way that I needed, the way to show me. He always loved me. He always carried it in here. Mm -hmm. And every time he would see me, he he hugged me for a really long time. Sometimes he would cry and I'd just be like, I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I never really celebrated Father's Day. I, I, I obviously I have a, an amazing father figure in my life, um, and he's not perfect either. Um, but he's always been there for me, especially in basketball. I've had actually a lot of father figures. I've had Mr. Yarbrough, who was like my middle school boyfriend's dad, um, mm-hmm. who is still one of my best friends today. And when, awesome. when we say boyfriend, that's like going to the movies together. You know what I mean? Like that's not of really it's our like, relationship. Hi, we're we're friends. Let's meet up in school. Puppy love. Sit next to you each know, other. Like exactly. So <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, Mr. Yarbrough, um, my one of my high school boyfriends. His dad. His name is Martin. He his dad, um, Phil Smith. He actually played in the NBA for the I want to say San Diego Warriors at the time. Okay. Um, yeah, San Diego. Sorry, San Diego Clippers. I'm tripping. Okay. San Diego Clippers before it came LA Clippers um, was a big influence in my life. Father figure. So I've had father figures and Malon Williams, who is my godbrother, uh, as my godson, my godfather, but as the father of my godbrother, Mikey. And um, so I've had father figures, but you know, nothing can fill the void of your father. Even, you know, I'm sure having stepfathers is amazing and stuff like that, but you still always think about like, why 
was I good enough? Right? Like, why? Yeah, for sure. You know? And and yeah. I don't know how to, I don't, obviously I'm not, I'm not trying to live in the past, but yeah. that's what Father's Day reminds me of. It's just the love I never received or the activities and the memories that I never had. Yeah. I with think my that's a great father. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you summed it up perfectly. That's, so. it's just a void that can never void. really be filled. You know, like, right. Again, you know, we've we talked about having good father figures in our lives, but not having your your the person who created you is is tough. And mm. you know, for years I, I played around with the idea like, should I go find him? And then after a certain point, I just was like, no, like if he wants me, you know, like me, I can be a little bratty, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 I have like a hundred great things, but the one thing I can't shake is I'm a freaking, I could be bratty. And um, Do you ever think he tried to find you? I think when, so according to my mom, when I was younger, he had asked to see me, but my mom was pretty pissed about him just because when she told him she was pregnant, she was younger. And when she told him that she was pregnant, he's like, that's not mine. And I think she was just in her feelings about that. Yeah as a woman and just cut him off. That happens a lot. That happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. And just cut him really off. Mean. And then I think years went by and he was like, oh, what's up? You know, I was Sydney and my mom was like, don't worry about it. You know, you ain't been around. So if that's an, yeah. if you want to call that an attempt, but to me, that's just not good enough. Like if someone's your child, you mm-hmm. birthed them and, you know, you, you help created them, that they're, your blood that is running through their veins then you yeah. have a commitment and an obligation to show yeah. love to them, to nurture them, to yeah. to to love them, and and I don't and and because that did not happen, I just was like, I'm not looking for him. Like he should be looking for me. So that's yeah. the idea that I came up with. And then I also was just like, you know, again, you know how serious I am about involving people in my life. I want to make sure that I bring the right people in my life for the right reasons. Like. It's a it's such a blessing to have you know some you know your child play in the NBA. It's a blessing. Every way yeah. it like less than one percent of people who make it to the NBA, and I'm super proud of of Mikel and everything that he's doing. But with that comes people who's just looking for a come up, looking for money, looking for something. And absolutely, I was like, I'm not going to just find that for that person. But like, oh, oh, my grandson's an NBA player. You know, I just didn't want that. I wanted to be authentic, and yeah. I wanted this person to love me. So for those reasons, I just said, hmm, I'm going to fall back on that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, my, my brother has experienced the same thing. Um, he grew up without his dad too. Mm. And, you know, there's a lot to be said about ha- like young parents, right? Like yeah. having young parents is just really difficult mm-hmm. to for one person to be mature enough, right? To find, or I guess both people to be mature enough to say, I'm going to do what I have to do, whether that's pay for the child, help, co-parent, and that other person open up. Because even my mom, my mom moved us from Missouri to California. And mind you, if you grow up in small towns, it's not just normal to just book a ticket to San Diego and find a hotel and then, you know, hit up that person who you had a child with and, and see that child. Now, my dad did do that a few times, which I'm thankful for. And we have photos of, um, but I think it was just too much at the time to maintain that. Yeah. Um, my brother's dad's a little bit different, and I won't speak on it because that's his personal story. But I know that, you know, he is such the fa- like good father that he is because what he lacked, you know, mm. or sorry, what he um, missed in his life. And yeah. now my brother is like the best dad I've ever seen. I mean, his daughter is a spitting image of him. They're the exact that's same. Awesome. Yeah. Um, he does such a good job. And I actually was with them this weekend, and it was just so cute to see. They're at the fair right now. Shout That's out Malcolm. Awesome. Yeah. And um, so it just, I think about that when you say, like, your mom was upset and, you know, didn't, you know, want to let your dad see you or, or whatever the case may be. But that happens so much with people that yeah. a lot of dads will say, I'll catch them when they're older. And obviously life goes on. It's just, you can't You can do remarry. That. You can have other kids, you know. Sure. And then, then, then you, the firstborns. You know, I have other siblings too. We get pushed to the back. And maybe that's not how they're doing it. Obviously, they're just but moving it's a on with reflect, their life. But it feels but that way. Yeah. It feels that it feels that way. And exactly. that's what I'm trying to convey is that, mm-hmm. you know, being the your first mm. child you bring into this world, like you yeah. wouldn't want to watch me like. It's supposed to be grow. so special. And you it's know? supposed to be like, 
it's just something that you adore, you know, yeah. that you're so proud of. Right. And, you know, look, I had my own therapy about that. I had to set that, set that at a place to move on because I didn't want it mm-hmm. to impact my relationship. So, you know, but it's never going to be like just away. Like it's just, yeah. you know, certain reminders. And when fathers and everyone's talking about their dads and being with their dads, it's like. Yeah, I never had that. Yeah. But. But, <laughs> but I but will I, say, shout out to my dad driving 25. How much? How much? He drove 2,500, no, 25,000 miles, 25,000 miles. Wow. Something like that. That, that's, that number seems off. Anyway, he drove from Missouri to Las Vegas, that's him and my drive. stepmom, to my Cross engagement. country. Yeah. Cross country. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how many miles that is. Anyway, I'll Google it after this. But um, We'll tell you next Google week. <laughs> there's Google again. Um, but yeah, and that really just showed, that's, that's love, right? Yeah. And so for me, that's that, that really meant a lot. It made my life. It really made my life, and I really appreciate my dad for that. So, yeah, that's awesome. Shout out to him for that. But, but in terms of Juneteenth, I think it has its own, um, you know, it's unique and it's special. And I don't think that it takes away from anything. I think it's something that is great that we're finally recognizing it and mm-hmm. being able to celebrate it together. Um, just unity always brings about so much, you know, like just in terms of how we look at each other, how we treat each other. So when we're unified together for a cause, it's just, is an amazing thing. So mm-hmm. I don't think that it takes away from Father's Day. I still think that for those of you who are fathers, I'm sure you're, whether you're spending time with your children, spending time with your spouses, spending time with your family, it's mm-hmm. still such a great thing. And you should continue to do that, continue to celebrate it and and, and make sure that whoever is in your life makes you feel special because you deserve so. You deserve it. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a double. I think it's a double whammy. I think you can be a father who, you know, <laughs> celebrates Juneteenth by wearing festive clothes. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like you can, you know, when you go out with your family or with your friends, you can wear, you know, the celebration of Juneteenth if that's what you feel. Um, cookouts. You can have parties and dinners in the name of both, just like we're doing a podcast that honors both of those things, Father's Day, um, for the fathers that we do know, for the fathers out there, for the fathers trying and doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, it could be shared. And I know, like, some people who have birthdays plus Father's Day plus Juneteenth, like, you know, I could see how a, a birthday and a Father's Day could conflict because, you know, they don't get their separate days. But I don't think Juneteenth takes yeah. away from it. And also, I think it's so new in terms of the celebration yeah. Um, and what we do in America that, you know, you can create your own traditions around it. So for sure. That's how I look at it. I th- I think that's a great way of saying it too. Like it is funny though, when you say taking away, like when you have a couple things that you celebrate on your day, because my cousin, <laughs> her birthday is right near Christmas and she celebrates <laughs> Christmas and her birthday is like the day after. So shout out to Tasha. Oh. Hey, Tasha. Um, <laughs> she was just over Sorry yesterday. Sorry about that. She, I know. Way. She just was over here yesterday. But she complains because growing up, her parents always was like, Merry Christmas, happy birthday. <laughs> like, it was. <laughs> Steven, Steven, our friend Steven, his birthday is the 26th after. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Steven, I miss you. Um, <laughs> but it is, I can see that being annoying. Like, you get your presents. Like, I want my separate presents. Like, yeah. call out what's for my birthday. Call <laughs> it's for Christmas, but don't try to give them all to me at the same time. It's like yeah. I don't know. I just feel like if you're like you're engaged, so just imagine if Feast would have proposed to you on your birthday, like Happy Birthday, congrats. Oh, speaking of, it was my me. mom's birthday weekend. My mom was like, "Uh, you sure you want to propose like that weekend? Because it's my birthday." <laughs> <laughs> really, mom? Seriously. Your birthday. Oh, it's so funny. Um, but he ended up proposing a couple of days early. So it, yeah. I think it was actually close to her birthday or on her birthday, the original date. Nice. Um, so but we ended up it ended up all working out too, because we all um stayed at Airbnb, there was a pool and like, you know, Fine. so we did like the whole the whole chill vibe, but it was just funny. So it's funny that you say that because people do I'm not they a birthday do. person, but people take their birthdays very seriously. They do. And I'm not and I'm not judging if you do. That makes so much it's sense. It's fine. I mean Seriously, Tuck, who we talk about, my stepdad, he, first of all, he takes Father's Day very seriously. That's why he's pissed off. It's like, Clearly. why are we talking about Juneteenth on my day? I'm like, for real. It's like, we, we can do both. We can do both, we can. bro. 
slow we, down. We can throw it up and we can say happy birthday. <laughs> okay, like <laughs> calm your ass down, Tuck. And then he's going to listen to him like, you better watch your mouth. Um, and then at the same time, he celebrates his birthday seriously for the week. He's like, it's my birthday week. And I know people who do that. I'm like, you really wasn't born every day of this week. You're born on one day at yeah. one point so, in time. But sometimes time, I do that when I, sometimes I'm like, it could be a birthday month depending on, you know. Oh, wow. Where, if you're, you're traveling. To home. <laughs> and I only say that because like, let's say you live in one place, you don't live close to your family. Yeah. And you're traveling. So you start to celebrate that day, different places. And sure. sometimes you can't get there. So that's the only reason why sometimes I give them that. But people who are, it's my birthday week and they say it, they like deem it. I'm like, okay. Yes. So a much. But you, at the same time, I'm not a birthday person, so. Now, here's the other thing, too, for Father's Day. So when you have a significant other, for those of you who are married and you're, you, you, know, you want to celebrate Father's Day with your father and then yet celebrate Father's Day for your significant other, how do you balance out your time? So for me, I, you know, that's not a situation, but for those of you who, you know, who are married— or, you know, you live with your significant other, how do you balance that out? Like, so for you, Shay, what do you do? Like, so if he spends time with his daughter, and then do you do something special for him? Like, do you buy him a nice gift so, as well? We're still trying to figure out our holiday celebration, like, okay. together. Like, we really don't celebrate, like, we're athletes. Like, I say we're athletes to the core. Like, usually there are sports on these days. Like, so <laughs> yeah. it's not something that's normal. But um, we are going to uh, Putt Shack tonight, which is like a mini golf slash bar slash restaurant. And where are you guys um, in ATL? Where are you? Yeah, we're in ATL. Nice. I was going to say- So we're going to um, do something, yeah. Do you guys want a third wheel? If you go, if you're in Philly, let me know. I'm in King of Russia. <laughs> Man, I wish. And, I and usually when we are in golf. Philly, and we've been in Philly the last couple of years, we we do celebrate with Zoe, um, but we're not with her uh, this week. Um, he'll be with her next week. So right. again, like you said, like like I was telling you, like somebody's Father's Day week, like so he's gonna extend that when he goes to celebrate, you know. Okay. So it'll be like Happy Father's Day, but it'll be make it a makeup. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, we don't really gift give either, and I don't know how I feel about that. Like, hmm. I don't really mind, but then sometimes I do like gifts, but I also don't like giving gifts to people who are very like humble and like. They, I think they deserve gifts. Just like I'm, I'm saying this about me too. Like I'm not a really a person who wants gifts, but when I do get them, I get excited. Oh, I love gifts. Nafis does I give, not give, get excited. Too. I like to give great gifts, uh, but I like to he's, receive them too. And he's so practical. He doesn't like I man, he doesn't like anything. Like he what he likes is like a good meal, <laughs> a good YouTube video, and some sleep. We love like, you, Nafi. <laughs> like I don't know what to get the man. Oh, but oh, I, talk but about I talk. Him, oh. He loves H and M, so I got him some stuff. Oh, so. okay. Well, oh, he might be in there, but don't yeah. be listening, please. Be act surprised. Like, oh, thank you so much, babe. <laughs> so I'll, I'll report back if he actually likes okay, the gift. Okay, let me know because we don't really give them. gifts like that. Aww. But maybe when I like have a baby or something, I'm gonna make him get. No, nice and gift. listen, shout out to Feast <laughs> because I, you know I get hit up from my friends. They be like, oh. Shay's fiance is handsome. I'm like, I, man. Yes, they be hollering. I'm like, Shay's fiance is handsome. Hey, you I, know what? I was talking to my friend about that today. I was like, I wonder if Nafis be getting hit on, but he don't ever tell me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he never tells me, but like, I know hey, people hit cutie, on Like, hey, cutie. No. <laughs> I, I got to ask him. I, th- I don't think I've asked him directly. I'm going to be like, do women hit on oh, you? Oh, can like, you ask often? him that so we can talk about it next week when we chat? Yeah. Yeah, no, I will. I definitely okay, will. now I really Because I tell him when people hit on me. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of lessened since, you know, I got the ring, but... Um, they don't care. They still be trying I mean, house. I'm just saying, like, you know, my numbers have declined since... <laughs> <laughs> they like, excuse me, put a ring on it. Yo, I went... To, yeah, and I went to a tournament, and it's like, it's almost like repellent. Like, I almost tweeted the other uh, the other day when I was there. Well, the other day, the other week, um, when I was at the tournament, like, dang, this thing really do numbers. Like, you know, like you still start seeing people look down. <laughs> <laughs> they like, look yeah, at it. They you, look at you. You see it. You see it. Yeah, you see. I, one time we were. You see it. When we were in New Orleans, some guy walked in. He looked at you. He was like, okay. He looked down at your ring and then walked away. Like, okay. And walked away. Like, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I, I shoot. I'm like, I'm thinking about all the relationships in the past. Yeah. I'm like, why didn't y'all just put a ring on it? Because everybody claims it was just so jealous. Like, I was always around other guys or basketball players or whatever. I'm like, all you had to do was Claim slap one of these things on, you know what I'm saying? And okay. then you would have been cool. But they was playing. They was playing games. 
So you had to spend, so for me, I tell you, my, so I had to buy, my, so my stepdad is like, he loves cologne. Like that is his jam. Yeah. And one day I was in sex and some guy walked by me and he smelled like so good. Like not oh me God. being That's inappropriate, me. but he just smelled amazing. And, and you said, like want to like. I said, <laughs> right. And I said, excuse me. And he turned around, he, he looked at me, mm-hmm. looked me up and down, smiled. He's like, how you doing? I was like. Hi, um, what are you wearing? <laughs> you probably think I was like trying to come on too, but once That's he saw my to vibe, me before too. right? He was like, oh, one of the bonds. I was like, it smells divine. I was like, I want to be able to get my dad that. I was like, I said, what? Is-? Then he could tell like, oh, damn, this chick really ain't hitting on me, but whatever. Then you could tell his energy was like, it's uh, Lafayette it changed. Street. Yeah. yeah, like whatever, sis. Like, But right. Lafayette Street. I was like, oh, thank you. Have a great day. Right. And so I had to go... Get my dad, um, Tuck, um, buy number nine, Lafayette Street, smells amazing. Price tag, 400 and some change for that Ooh. cologne, right? That's love. That's love. I'm I a big spender. I am like, dropping that. I will spend, like, I believe in treating people well, and I will take good care of anyone in my circle. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little bit yeah. about me. Tippers, let's make sure we hold her to that, okay? <laughs> so we- <laughs> <laughs> like, T, you're going to hit me up. T, I sent you a message. Today is my birthday. Where is my bond number nine? <laughs> Literally. No, but I had that same um, exact experience with mm-hmm. a guy that I didn't want, but the smell made me like literally almost right? leap out at him. Like I, mean, I was like, I like, me. I don't, not to sound raunchy, but I like wanted to like be in his like, I wanted to like, it was just so like. It's like captivating. It was, I mean, he literally walked by me. I was like, I stopped so, in my track. Like, that's how yes. good. Yes. I mean, I feel like Bond should give me like some money for this plug. So, that I'm I think that's him. a great Father's Day gift while we're on the topic. <laughs> right? So, for people, yeah. And I definitely brought that for my brother. I bought that for Nafis. Um, it was YSL La Home. Mm. And I thought that, like, that was a gift I'm giving to you. Like, other, you want, you want some, some good attention? Like, so I bought that for them. Okay. So, I need you to in. go and smell Bond number nine, Lafayette okay. Street. It is. Okay. Amazing. Okay, we got a sex close by. Okay, go check it out. Do that. Well, listen, um, happy Father's Day to all the poppies and daddies. And I call my stuff that big papa and all the big papas out there. We say pop. You say pop. So by the time you hear this, you we hope that you've enjoyed your Father's Day. We've done something special. And another shout out, happy Juneteenth. Uh, remember the importance of this day. It means so much. And the fact that it's a national holiday now. Many companies are being able to support that. It means everything. And we're just so happy to be a part of it and share this experience with each and every one of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited um, to celebrate the emancipation of enslaved Africans. And um, yeah, I've done a lot of research myself. Um, and so it's really cool to have my company recognize it, to have others recognize it. Yes. Um, and Shout out to OT. Yeah. Shout out to OT. And it, um. Happy Father's Day, man. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And uh, yeah, just peace and love. All right. And continue to follow Tip in the Scales wherever you get your podcast. We want it, we want you, we, we need you to be connected. We, we with haven't us. seen any ratings lately. We need y'all to get into the uh ratings um yeah. in iTunes. Go ahead, go down there, rate us. Okay. I, actually, people have been texting it to other people. So yeah, continue to do that. Spread um, the love. You know, we got uh, an array of topics. So please find someone who's going through something and send those um tipping the scale episodes. We really appreciate that. Such inspirational little nuggets when you need them. Peace out, guys. Peace.